in our resort we also do have scooters for rent we're a little bit off the path so the people usually need some mode of transport and here in southeast asia the best way to go around is a scooter let me show you our newest edition this is now our first electric one Here is the Deco Super Ace. Deco is a Thai electrical bicycle and motorcycle manufacturer or assembler. They are doing this together with a Taiwanese company. So all the parts which are not produced in um, Thailand, they come from Taiwan. So it's a high quality product. And this motorcycle also is not an entry level. We are here in a rural area, so if you want to let people drive around in electric vehicles, you cannot give them an entry-level bicycle because that would just not fulfill the needs here. This motorcycle is a direct equivalent to one of this one. These are Honda Scoopies 125cc. The Deco Super Ace is the next step above an entry level. Typically the entry level bicycles, they have a 1000 watt motor, maybe maximum 1200 watts, and usually they would have a 60 volt powertrain and a 20 amp hour battery. That would give you a range of probably realistically 45 to 50 kilometers especially when two people would sit on that kind of motorcycle the super ace is the next level above that as i said it comes with a 2000 watt motor the battery is a already upgraded 72 volts powertrain 30 amp hours and a realistic range of 70 kilometers also when two people are sitting on this motorcycle. So this is all you would as well find on the other internal combustion engine motorcycle. The size is pretty much the same and as well at the end Performance, speed, acceleration is all exactly comparable. And the best thing at the moment, Thailand is subsidizing electric motorcycles. Every motorcycle is receiving a subsidy, 18,000 Thai baht, that would be about 500 US dollars and this is putting the price of this motorcycle as well exactly on the same level as the internal combustion Honda there. Considering that the operating cost of this bicycle is about the third of the fuel driven one you would be nuts if you don't buy electric. The entry level bicycles after subsidy are so cheap that the internal combustion engine motorcycles can't even compete with it. So for the urban areas those smaller motorcycles would probably suffice anyway. But yeah here if you wanna go around then this is the best thing you can do. The operation of this motorcycle is absolutely similar to another internal combustion motorcycle. The only difference is that this is an electric powertrain and that would give you some options a normal motorcycle would not have. Like this one has an automatic speed control for example, so you can actually press a button while you are driving a certain speed and then you can let off the accelerator and the motorcycle will keep that speed. The funny thing is they have something like gears here, right? You have a switch one, two and three. But of course this is an electric powertrain. There are no transmissions here, no gear. And 
What this means is that you have kind of three different throttle responses and number one, two and three, they all have a maximum speed limit programmed into it. When you are number one, your speed will be limited to 55 kilometers per hour, number two, 65 and number three is then 75. But everything else is the same. The electric motorcycle will start up in park. The only thing you have to do is you have to press the park button like this and the display would switch to speed and you can just go. It did not change now because it has the same safety feature as the internal combustion motorcycles. You cannot drive away or start the motor when the stand is down. This is to prevent accidents, right? If you forget to lift the stand and you go into the next left turn, you would just crash the motorcycle. So that's why here in Thailand also these motorcycles, they cannot be started when they are standing on the stand here. But as I said, everything else is completely identical to the other motorcycles. You have the high beam, low beam, then you have the direction indicators, you have a horn here, and this is for the speed control here. So as I said, maximum speed is about 75 kilometers if you are driving in so-called gear number three. And yeah, you will be able to go about 75 kilometers on the full charge. Let's look into some technical features. So we have disc brakes front and back. The motor is a wheel hub motor. So it sits in the rear wheel here, 2000 watts. You have the suspension, which is quite hard. It's a little bit sporty in its setting. Lights are LED. You have this outside part. This is a daylight. It's always on. And then you have high and low beams in the middle. When you are charging the motorcycle, you can use any wall outlet. The charger is a 722 volt charger and it's about 500 watts. So it's only like 3 amps on your house supply. You will have a display of battery percentage when the charger is engaged. So a charge from really empty to full will take around 5 hours for this size of the battery. Normally you should not uh, drive the battery below 20%, so a charge from 20 to 80% will just take around 3 hours. Yes, yeah, so now our guests can also enjoy silent, pollution-free mobility, drive electric motorcycles just powered by our sun. Right, so this is a review of the Deco Super Ace. This is not somehow sponsored by the manufacturer or anything. I just want to show you what you should actually now do when you live in Thailand you have to go to a shop which is selling electric motorcycles because now is the best time this kind of motorcycle here with these specifications is already perfectly suited to meet all your needs okay thank you very much for watching this video please like comment subscribe to the channel and I see you next time.